Good morning. Good morning. So basically, I want to get in here and run this shit real quick before I get ready to take my kids to the dentist. <sighs> this is a beautiful Tuesday. How are you guys? I am great. Now, all hell done broke loose last night on the heels of the interview that Raw Honest T did with a little shade all love. I know what my friend's intentions were for interviewing her. It was basically to let her tell her little side of the story and also to get a little mess going to so people can be entertained. That's why people interview. I don't give a damn what nobody say. I I haven't seen very many interviews in this sector that were not messy. So let's just go ahead and get that out the way. Um, There are some things that I think could have went differently. But, I mean, shit, anybody could have fell into that and anything could have happened like that to anybody because of the way Raw was conducting herself. I, I almost wish she would have just cut the interview short once she started doing all that. But, shit, she's like, fuck it. And I understand. It's like, fuck it. It's already going down. Let me just basically let her just keep talking. So, Raw was um, doing the most. Um... First, she was coming off okay, but the minute that Goddess and Leah got in the chat, Raw whole demeanor change. She just instantly snapped out of doing the interview and snapped right into defense mode. Let me read the comments and spew things out of my mouth and go at these girls back and forth, back and forth. And it looked crazy because they're in the comments. Well, I mean, it sounded crazy. I ain't going to say it looked crazy because if you read in the comments, you can see what she was responding to. But it sounded crazy if you had your phone sitting down and just listening because all you hear is her going off and you really don't know what the fuck she's talking about. I mean, just going in. She's not saying that she's not even really saying the name she's referring to. So some of it was confusing. Once I listened a little further, I got to understand some of it, but I was still a bit confused. Okay, so here's where the real shit came in. This is towards the end of the interview. Raw already done spit a whole bunch of shit up out of her mouth. Um, Lil Shay All Love is trying to be unbiased and let her just say what she got to say. Um, when it went left was Sean Bradley came in because of the talk of club chat supposedly being a new TSCC. TSCC is TSCC. Club Chat is Club Chat. Those are two separate entities. They are not the same. That's just period. When Raw was asked at first why it was being said or why it was being asked, she said, well, I was just asking a question. It was just a question, you know, period. I wasn't saying it. Okay. So then when Sean comes on, Sean is like, okay, well, I guess he didn't hear the question that being asked. He might not have been on the live earlier. So he says, you know, House Club chat to new TSCC. She kind of veers over to, well, I don't like you, Sean, or I don't have a problem with you, Sean, but what I didn't like was what you did to Didi Love. You started with Didi Love. I said uh, continuously in the chat, I might for a little shade all love. I said continuously in the chat, no, he didn't. Diddy Love absolutely came for Sean. Sean made a um, hypothetical comment. He was saying, you you talking shit about me, Nika talks shit about me. You trying to take up for Nika, and you said that I bullied Nika and made her cry. So you making videos about me. What if I was to do the same to you? Would you like to be bullied? And he never said he was going to bully the girl. He never said he was, uh, she never said she was bullied by him. Diddy Love even came out with a video. Um, I don't know if it was last night or what. I just saw it this morning saying, I did come for Sean first. No the fuck he didn't bully me. I cannot be bullied. But on top of that, she came for him first. He made a little comment back. She put his name in the title. I believe he only made one other comment referring to her putting his name in her title. That's when she changed it to King Bradshaw or something like that. So, okay, so we already got that squared away. Raw was lying. She done caused this big debacle. And now it's um, between a little shade all love and club chat because Raw, you basically use a little shade all love's platform to kick up a whole bunch of shit and start a whole bunch of mess and spread some lies also because it's, it's very known. I don't even know where the fuck she got it from. It's known 
that Didi Love did come for Sean first. And a little say I love apparently did not know much about that. I called her after the live immediately and told her she was lying. Didi Love did in fact come for Sean first. And he actually didn't really go in on her. He never really went in on went in on Didi Love. He never did. He made mention of the things that were being said. Shut up, boy. <laughs> And he made mention of um, her using his name in the title, I recall. But I don't really remember it going any further than that. I don't know where Raw Honest T gets that from. But it seems like she's created her own narrative in her own head. All right, fast forward. So apparently some people in club chat feel away because of this whole debacle. And um, I guess they feel as though she did not... um, I guess maybe defend it or speak about it or speak up for it because they are in the feeling that she was there. Well, I don't know what she had knowledge of, but I'm inclined to believe my friend when she says she did not know the details of the DD Love situation. And I believe that. And I talked because I called her and let her know the details, but I couldn't tell her on the live. I had to do it right after it ended. So she, um, Sean wants her to call in, which I thought was a good idea. I'm like, yeah, I think you should call in. Too. And she's like, yeah, I am going to call in. So she calls in. Um, She gets to, you know, explaining what happened. Sean asked her what the point was. She says, well, you know, Rod just asked me to do an interview. So I said, cool. You know, I think um, her and Rod Honesty are, are cool anyways. Um, or at least, uh, you know, acquaintances. I don't think they have any issues with each other. So, cool. That's why she wants to do the interview. I don't really care. I don't really give a shit why she wants to do it. And I really don't think everybody is that concerned with why she wants to do the interview. I just think everybody has their own opinions about it, which is fine with me. Everybody deserves to have their opinion about whatever the fuck they watch. So, she's talking to Sean. Sean's trying to get an understanding. She's trying to help him to understand fine that's fine that's all good um apparently she looks in the chat now sean chat moves fast so i don't even attempt to try to read what's going on in the chat i'll comment and if i see my name my name uh highlighted then somebody probably type my name i'll read that comment because it goes so fast but my friend i guess she was seeing the comments so she was responding to some of the people in the comments and one of the people happened to be d ramsey so when she says what she says about Dean Ramsey, and I've already made a video on that. If you want my opinion on that, you can go back and look at my video. I'm not going to really go back into depth about that again because my opinion has not changed much. My opinion is she liked Dean Ramsey a lot, and she felt the way because Dean Ramsey, um, she felt like Dean Ramsey sided with Tracy. That's just what it is. Do I think that um, it was a big deal? No, I don't. Do I think it's a big deal now? No, I don't. So, D. Ramsey, after she gets done saying what she says, I ain't going to go into detail what, about who said what because I don't really fucking know. I know what was said, but I can't spit it word for word. But I'm sure everybody saw it as fast as that chat was moving. So, this is just my opinion. Uh, she said what she say. He asked her, do you want to talk to D. Ramsey? She says no. I thought she should have. But I respect her decision not to. She probably wanted to go get on her platform and continue whatever it is she got going. And that's that's fine. D. Ramsey did the same. She came on to Sean's show. She went in, said what she had to say. Then she went on her own platform and did the same. So, I don't see. I mean, you know, it, it is what it is. They don't like each other. Cool. You don't like her. She don't like you. That's fine. Y'all can still coexist, block each other, whatever it is you got to do to maintain and stay on the YouTube streets without having to snatch no wigs. That's what y'all need to do. So fast forward after this, she goes and does uh, a little shade I love does an interview with seven stars. I don't be in seven stars chat, but I was in her chat last night because my friend was being interviewed. Um, It wasn't a very long live. Seven Stars has her title like Club Chat Jumped Her. Look, 
I don't even know if it was a club chat thing. It just is what it is. If people don't agree, they don't agree. If they want to get in the chat and say what they got to say, that comes with the territory of what we're doing. We on YouTube. We doing the mess. We in the mess. We talk about the mess. We make commentary about the mess. So when mess comes our way, that's what the fuck we have to do. We just have to deal with it. So, you know, I love my friend. She's a very good friend. I just want her to keep doing her thing. Brace yourself. People going to say what they're going to say. There's going to be backlash. It's fine. You're going to have some people that love it, and you're going to have some people that hate it. It is what it is. But, you know, that's my little opinion on things. And I really low-key didn't even want to speak on it because when people that I like are getting into it, I feel away. But I watched Sean's video this morning. It don't really seem like he's too mad with her. I know for a fact she's not really too mad with him. I know... She might have a certain, feel a certain way about club chat. Um, And I'm not going to speak for her, but we speak and I know what it is. So that's why I I decided to speak on it because I seen there wasn't really much animosity between her and Sean. I think that he didn't understand why she did the interview and he didn't see the point in it. Okay. I know I'm it's, I'm starting off somewhere else because I got a phone call and it interrupted. Okay, so basically, he was trying to see the point in the interview. He feels like raw and honest. Got on her, used her platform to get on there and start some shit. I agree. I 100% agree. I felt this way, and I said that she was not likable. She was um very combative. I told her all of this before Sean. Before she even called it to Sean's live. It's just the way I felt. It's still the way I feel. So, and I think she recognizes it. Whether she's upset about it, I doubt it. But if she, I know she recognizes it. And I know she knows, you know, what happened now. But in the moment, it was not easy to tell. Especially if you don't want to do an interview. But it, a whole lot of shit popped off. Off of that one damn live. Ain't that how it usually go though? But anyways, I'm supposed to get in here, get myself together. I'm fed my kids. I haven't even fed myself. I'm going to get in here and get myself together, get my children dressed, and we're going to go to the dentist. And if some shit go down, I'll be back. Bye.